don't mind vaginas. I really don't. I mind vaginas. I mean, I, Paige the other day was like, I said something looked like a vagina. It was those razors, you know those razors that they have where like for some reason women's razors have to have these big lips around them to like make for comfort or whatever. And I'm like, no. all women's <laughs> razors look like fucking vaginas. Andy, your mother was a chihuahua. Oh no! Andy, don't touch it! You are very afraid of sickness. Yeah, I am. I'm, well, I'm afraid of sickness because, well, it's a really quick way to die. <laughs> in, a of, in a lot of cases, you know, um, we all go somehow, right? But True. like Ebola is not a, it's probably at the top of my list of ways not to go. Why? I don't know enough about it. Why? Well, do you want to know this, the history of Ebola? Condensed? Yeah, condensed. All right, so the Ebola River is um, a river in sub-Saharan Africa. Um, and out of this river, it's like the fertile crescent of horrible disease. And the, um, the, the primates that were living around there were carrying this disease in them, which doesn't kill them, called Ebola. And it's a virus that actually, under a microscope, it looks like a long, skinny rod. And it gets into your system, and you feel, oh, I might have the flu or something. And then blood comes out of every orifice, and you die. Truly? Yes, it's horrible, horrible. Glen Does this exist, like, in the United States? Um, well, it was first discovered, uh, or a close cousin of it, called Marburg virus, was discovered in Germany. It's named after Marburg, Germany. Because a lot of, um, so, because scientists there had taken primates for testing from the Ebola River in sub Saharan Africa, and those monkeys bit some of the researchers, and the researchers died. Um, and that's how they discovered the whole hemorrhagic class of viruses. Glenn Close's father, you know Glenn Close, the yeah, actress? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, her father was one of the first people to study Ebola. So, can I ask you how. I don't want it. It's, well, basically, I'm saying I don't want Ebola. Well, no one does. Who, who so no one says I want Ebola? <laughs> I'd like to die of Ebola. Ebola? Well, it'd be a spectacular way to go. I mean, think about it. Right. When was the last time a person died of Ebola? Do you know? They, they have, seem to know a lot about it. Well, I don't know. They have, a, they have quite. They have outbreaks from time to time in Sub-Saharan Africa, mm -hmm. but it's not like something that would easily go pandemic because it kills people so quickly. Right. Thank um, God for that. Unlike the H1N1 well, flu. I mean, you know what I mean. Thank God it kills them fast. I mean, you know, not to sound, you Thank know. Thank God it's staying over there in Africa. <laughs> I mean, from the time I was a child, a young child, I thought I had cancer. Um, which is... <laughs> what? That just doesn't seem normal for a no, young I mean, child. No, <laughs> well, I mean, most young children are like ponies I was, Legos. I have one very well. Cancer! <laughs> Well, sorry. I don't know what I, I, I I'm actually... I'm sorry, Eduardo, but, you know, that's why I find you fascinating and I love you. Well, um, I remember, I have a memory, very clear memory of when I was a child. I was probably about six years old. Going to... My six-year-old niece doesn't know what cancer is! Well, maybe she should read a little. Six-year-old, most six-year-olds... I was an do. avid reader. <laughs> oh, oh, and we had this book growing up. My mother had this book of childhood illnesses. Probably where it all started. This is like therapy. I'd never forgotten all about this. She had a book of childhood illnesses. With like you'd open it up and there were pictures of like impetigo and all these different types of diseases that children got. I used to just read it, like look at all the pictures and read it over and over again. I mean, as a very young child, this was my picture book. Wow. Kind of, I okay. guess. And I had forgotten all about that. So we have that book to blame. So you just had a breakthrough with I just me right here on the on Oddcasters. Oddcasters. Yeah. This song is off of my forthcoming album. Um, it is called Solstice Vishnu, and it is a uh, new age album for um, for fat women. Actually, there's no album. <laughs> I made it up. <laughs>